why I've had to So this is, uh, what would you expect in a good answer? Because you are linking each KPI to all or part of the mission. So operating profit is linking to each one. Operating profit, okay, we say let's let's also identify the mission. Let's mean identify the mission. We put it here. Components of the mission. Maintainable and profitable growth. By developing talent, provide world class with maximum efficiency. So there's the issue of maintainable and the profitable growth. With uh, also the issue of maximum efficiency. Developing your best talent, and we are saying our service should be world class. <clears throat> so now let us uh, check. Let's have your comments. So operating profit, imagine, is confirming which one. Is confirming which one. Uh, giving shareholders maintainable and profitable growth. Okay. It's maximum efficiency. So here we are saying profitability is covered. And also efficiency is covered. So you are you are building your answer, you know. That's what you're doing in the exam. You're building your answer. We are providing a world class answer, which the examiner find very easy. What of uh, secured revenue? Secured revenue. The amount of revenue is already contracted. Maintainable, maintainable profit. Yes, maintainability. Maintainability. Management retention is linked to what? Best talent, although it doesn't talk about it, development of that talent. Order book. Order book shows what? Order book shows what? I think it's also growth. So if you are going to for, which, which, which orders, people have given you orders for the future. What does that show? We're also trying to maintain the the future. <laughs> what of organic revenue growth? It shows growth, and also it shows an element of maintainability because we are saying 
what has happened may also happen when in the future. What of Ross? What of Ross? What does it show? There you are. So this is what you have to do. In most of your scripts, I used to answer, I used to ask a question that did you do an answer plan? I think a number of you may remember those who submitted the work that I would put the question, did you have an answer plan? You know, we cannot pass a PM just by writing without an answer plan. No, this, this is a very high level paper. This is a very, very high level paper. The expectations are high. We are looking at the consultant. You know, if you engage as a consultant to do a job, you need to do a good job in more ways than one, including even just presentation, structure, flow, and all that. So from there now, you can convert these now into not complicated, but straightforward statements. The people follow this advice. This one here, or this, that is the way the answer would have looked like. Show how each KPI links to all part, all or part of the mission. So the marker will find that yes, we have ably demonstrated how each KPI, each one of the KPIs, we have done that. Is that okay, people? Mm -hmm. That's what we expect. So the lessons are, if you're evaluating your performance report, you want to see the KPIs that are there, are they addressing the key components of our mission statement? The second part of the question, what did it ask? Evaluate, assess the assumptions and definitions used in calculation of the current set of key performance indicators. Now, why was this needed? Why was the assessment? Let's look at why the assessment was needed. Let's look at how the assessment was needed. The assessment was needed. So second, there's this statement here. Second, taking each of the current indicators. Have you seen again how to, how to do it? Eh? Have you seen how to do it? Taking each of the current indicators in turn, she wants the assumptions underlying the calculation of indicators examined. Why? Here's the reason. Here is the reason. Have you seen the reason? There has been a suggestion made in the press that DS is producing a biased set of results aimed to mislead the market. This would artificially, this would then artificially boost the share price and so boost the value of the senior management shareholdings. So remember, we said that it, Sometimes there's a specific matter to be dealt with. So this issue of evaluating assumptions, it's because of this item mentioned. So again, in a good answer, what is that is expected? What the marker would expect is that you're going to repeat the process. You are going to repeat this process. Mm -hmm. But this time, what are you talking about? You are talking about what? Mm -hmm. Assumptions. 
We are talking about the assumptions. Here we are. So again, you are supposed to come to each and every one of these. That's what the question meant. Now, go through the assumptions and tell me the problem with the assumptions. You tell me the problems, the assumptions. Hmm? The problem with the assumptions, the assumption on operating profit margin. The assumption on operating profit margin. Want somebody to help us here? Operating profit margin, let's pick the assumption. Operating profit margin here. What problem do you have here? They removed some costs. Hmm. The operating profit margin has been distorted. This excludes exceptional items such as reorganization of the catering business, which cost 55, where revenue was 245. So that's a, that's a challenge that we have there. And in the preamble, we tell them that there is a press statement. The aim of this assessment is to check whether the each indicator could have been manipulated to show a better picture of the business. So there is that T55 there mm -hmm. from the catering business. 55 from the catering business. 55 from the catering business. Here. Okay, so we are saying that is the issue there. What are the other one? What are the issues? Secured revenue. What is the assumption of secured revenue? What, what issue do you have here, secured revenue? The budgets were not completed on time. Mm -hmm. So it means that uh, we wanted to present, first of all, what does secured revenue tell us? It's like guaranteed income, isn't it? So you want to show people out there that your guaranteed income is very high. And is that what will happen to investors? They'll be excited. But how are you achieving that? We're trying to manipulate the figure by waiting as much as possible. So that what you call a budget really is some of the projects already started. Management retention. Hmm? What was the issue with management retention? They only covered the 65% of the employees. Mm -hmm. So we are saying that uh, the figure only includes those employees on full-time contracts. So they are 35%. So the treatment of these, we are saying we're not worried about them. That's a distortion. 
the poor treatment and the retention has not been captured for that category. What of the older book? I'm new as an investor. You will be interested in the older book. Yeah? As an investor, you'll be interested in the older book. Hmm? Because the older book is the future of the company. So here we've got an older book. Hmm? Up to 10 years. Now, 10 million kwacha in year 10 and now, they have the same value. So by adding up these figures and giving us a lump sum, we are distorting the present value, not using the present value. Can somebody comment on uh, organic growth? This assumption. Can you have your comment, please? It's saying that it includes net acquisitions and revenue. It's not supposed to be included in the revenue. Hmm. Because what is the title of the KPI? What's the title of the KPI? Organic growth. Organic growth is internal growth. An acquisition is not organic. So actually, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. And lastly, return on capital employed, Ross. Any comments? Uh, Ross focuses on on tangible assets, but this business is a it's a service business. Mm -hmm. Where the capital employed may be low, isn't it? So yes. we may it may be distorted, and also we don't know what was included in there capital employed. Now, what is more critical is presentation, where you pick each one of these and comment. And you see, once you do this, you need not stick to one, no. Where you will know more points, you can fill up. We are not very sure, even later, you can come back and do the same. Let's go to the next part of the question. Let's go to the next part of the question. Evaluate the other aspects of reporting, eight marks, eight marks, other aspects. What are these other aspects? What are the other aspects? What are the other aspects? If you're not able to say it out because your connectivity is poor, you can also type. Eh? You can also just type and throw on the chat. If your connectivity is poor and you're not able to come in and comment, you can just type. Hmm? So what are the other aspects that we have learned about? A balance between financial and non-financial uh -huh. information. Yes, we say we need to check that. Another one. Another one.
Which other one do you want to talk about? Also, the suitability of um, the information provided uh, to the intended uh, users. Maybe, for example, in terms of detail. So we've got your four points there. And again, what you do is you put a statement under each one of these. You know, a number of you have got good points, but you don't mention them clearly. So you lose out on the, on the marks. You lose out on the marks. But Mr. Piri. Yes. The, on the financial and non-financial, we have management, management retention. Can we consider it as a non-financial? Management retention. The management retention, yeah, management retention. Yeah, you can call, call it a non-financial. Mm -hmm. that we can't add the, that first point. Come again. Meaning that um, the report oh, you, you, can, you can add in the positive. You can add in the positive. But they, they seem to have a bias towards financial indicators. All right. Mm -hmm. So what I'm focusing on is a number of us, we find we have good points, but we have not properly structured them like this, so that the markers now can look at each one of these subheadings and see your comments. Avoid long, long paragraphs. The easiest way of getting marks is by creating subheadings and commenting to the extent that you can. Okay. Let's uh Come to the other part of our question. Explain how the building block model works as required by CEO. I want you to do what I have done to part four and five. I want you to do what I have done to part four and five. And whoever has finished, I'll give you the right to share the way you have structured your points, your headings. I want you to structure what I've done here. What we have done. I want you to do that and whoever finishes can just tell me so that the, we, I give you the rights to share how you have structured your work. Okay, so go to these last two parts of the question. Four and five, try to structure an answer plan. Then I'll give you the rights to share so that you demonstrate to us how you have done your breakdown. Okay, so let's do that. I'm waiting for some submissions. <laughs> 